Good evening, dads. Welcome to the One Habit Challenge. We are on Monday, which makes it day three. Yes, day three. And how's it going? What's your progress? Let me know in the chat. If you're watching on the replay, give us a hashtag replay. And yeah, give us a progress report. What have you observed? Well, basically, have you stuck to it, first of all? Have you stuck to it? Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to sort the light out. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the kids have been playing with the with my light. It seems a bit glary, a bit glary. Look at that. Um, but yeah, day three, depending on what your habit is, the habit you're ditching and the habit you're starting, right? Let me remind you, the intention was not to create some big hairy ass challenge for you, right? It's a, it's an experience, something to observe and notice how simply doing one thing new and ditching one thing, the one thing new, drinking a glass of water in the morning, um, I don't know, doing 10,000 steps, um, ringing someone up and telling, you, telling them you love them, uh, reading 10 pages of a book, a non-fiction book, something that's going to improve you, self-development, something that's going to teach you something, an autobiography, inspire you. Like, these are the new habits you can pick up. Something you can drop, well, that's easy. You could... <laughs> Beer, coffee, porn, drugs, too many joints, smoking a joint, you know, blimey, give up weed for a week. If that's if that's your thing, give up weed for a week. If gaming's your thing, give up Fortnite for a week. In fact, just put the controller away for a week. Give up the news for a week, right? Give up toxic media. Give up aggressive TV, right? Just just play with it, right? It's it's about the the um, the, the chemical responses in your in your mind and in your body to these things that's where the interesting observation comes uh, I've mentioned a few books okay if you hadn't seen some of the stuff that I mentioned in the earlier videos well of course go back and, and review them you've missed out on loads of good stuff but I will remind you here three three in fact four of my favorite things around habits um, Darren Hardy, Compound Effect, James Clear, Atomic Habits, Charles Dungy, The Power of Habits, and Dr. Joe Dispenza, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. It all awesome references. Oh, and uh, Mel Robbins. <laughs> Let me let's go and look this up, right? What is that bloody book called? In fact, it's on my it's on my Audible, right? I'll try and I'll try and talk uh, as I'm as I'm doing it, right? But as they do say, they do say men can't do multitasking. Multitasking is a flipping sham anyway. The, the reality is that you'll be far more effective and productive by focusing on one thing, getting it done, and then moving on to the next thing. About the only thing I would encourage in terms of multitasking is listening to... Ah, <laughs> there we go. Listening to audiobooks and stuff when you're mowing the lawn or, or, or driving. Right, Mel Robbins, The Five Second Rule. Five, four, three, two, one, just do it. Okay. Um, and the thing is, when you start, oh, and The Biology of Beliefs, also a very good book. More scientific, that one. Let me just find you the author of that. B-I-O-L, B-I-O-L, biology. Biology of Beliefs. Oh, Bruce Lipton. Biology of Belief, Bruce Lipton. But as you start to explore these topics, these authors, or just hang out with me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enlighten you with all this. But an interesting fact I mentioned a minute a, bit, a minute ago about the chemical reaction, the, the the motivation, the energy, the force where attention goes, energy flows, right? Good or bad. There's a curious thing about habits, and that is that. Bad habits generally feel good, okay? A cigarette, they, they, they <laughs> cunningly, the bastards, they made it so beautifully addictive that you couldn't resist to smoke a cigarette. Uh, but they do the same with food. They do the same with computer games. Porn is obvious, right? It feels good, yeah? But when they make it so accessible and when they make every possible 
style, topic, theme, even things you've never heard of or thought of, like why the fuck is stepmom or stepsister porn so popular? I mean, it just was like, ugh, makes me feel ill thinking about it, let alone <laughs> seeing it in the trending. Um, but because they make it so accessible, it, that, that's how a habit hooks you, you know? It's why nowadays that they make them hide the cigarette packets so you can't see them when you walk into a store. It's why they are doing in supermarkets, moving the chocolate and sweets and candy away from the checkout so that kids don't feel drawn to them, okay? Bad habits feel good, right? You get you get the feel-good effect, uh, uh, um, Coffee gives you the buzz. It gives you some energy. It gives you, it wakes you up. Um, alcohol obviously helps you relax. Gives you a bit of a. Uh, well, it depends who you are, right? But most of us, it makes us kind of fun. Um, so that's why about even sitting on your ass, okay? Sitting on your ass, your your brain believes that you are happy. You're not doing anything. There's not any exertion. There's not any danger. And so you become accustomed to doing that easy thing, the lazy option, the comfy option. That's why the comfort zone is such a shithole of a place. Inside the comfort zone, you ain't doing nothing. You're not going to risk, stretch, grow. You're not going to do anything in the comfort zone. The comfort zone is comfy, okay? Um, so a good habit, on the other hand, doesn't have an instant reward. Um, Darren Hardy talks talks a lot about this, right? It doesn't have an instant reward. There's you know you can you can pick up that book, maybe you can learn something in in, in the ten pages, but it doesn't tr change your life. It doesn't make you feel good for an hour later, really. Um, going to the gym again, particularly if you're not very fit, the getting off your ass, going there, sweating, feeling awkward, using different machines you don't understand how to use, not going to be that nice. Going to the fridge, opening it up and not choosing beer, not choosing chocolate, not choosing, you probably don't keep cake in the fridge, but, you know, good habits. <laughs> I'll have uh, a piece of celery, please. <laughs> but you've got to work hard on making these, these new good habits feel good. And one of the best ways of doing that is to create a support group. Yeah, you want people on side. One of the, the the worst things for people getting fit or losing weight is if their partner is fat, lazy git, right? That is one of the hardest things to do because, or if that partner smokes and you're trying to give up, it's like impossible to have them sat there and not supporting you. So it's why you have help groups, AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, Cocaine Anonymous. Um, if you're not down with the, the, the 12 steps, then... Um, Ah, what's his name? Jack. Jack Trippier. Jack. I think that's his name. Um, he's got a great book, a whole system around addictions that, let's have a look. I'm trying to find his book. Here we go. Here we go. It is. Do, do, do. Jack Trimpey. Jack Trimpey, right? Can't tell you much about it because I've only just started reading it under the record after the recommendation of someone, uh, someone dear to me who's found themselves in a bit of a bit of a uh, cocaine hole, basically. So you put the people around you that matter, that support you, that hold you to account. Uh, you know, it's it's so you can celebrate the little wins. And what's a little win? A little win is doing a day, doing a day and making it happen. Do a week. What do they call it? Like AA, it's like, right, I'm, I'm 64 days dry. I'm 122 days dry. Doing my fitness daily sweat challenge and seeing if I could do it every day for a year has been a, an amazingly challenging and curious experience. Having my girlfriend and my children supporting me is, is huge, though, okay? Because they're either doing it with me, like my daughter ran with me on Sunday, or my girlfriend and I run, or they're asking me, or they're saying, "Come on, let's do it." I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> did ten minutes of press ups and sit ups in the airport of Geneva the other week. 
because I was doing the, the sit-ups on the on like the hard floor, I I gave myself a blister on the on the coccyx of, of, of like at the base of my spine on my ass. It was so sore. It was all, all tore the skin and everything. But having that accountability and that support, because the good habits don't have that instant reward, you need to find other ways to give yourself that instant reward. Okay, so. Um, I tell you, one other interesting way of doing that is instead of looking for what's missing, right? I'm missing out on chocolate. Oh, I spoke about this the other night. Make sure you've got your substitutes and make sure that you frame it. Not that, oh, I can't have chocolate. It's going to be a shit evening. Frame it that awesome. I've got some fresh strawberries. I'm going to have a few of those after dinner so that you have got something to look forward to and you've, you've basically you're tricking the brain you're framing it in such a way that it's a positive thing it's a reward for your achievement of the day rewards trigger the dopamine effect in your brain it's how computer games get you hooked so bad um but yeah so just giving yourself a reward kicks that dopamine effect now it won't be a huge hit of dopamine but the brain is, as well as being a powerful, beautiful machine, it's quite simple and stupid. So give it the reward, get the little reward effect, um, involve others so that you feel their love and support and holding you to account when your willpower perhaps isn't there. Another theme from this week. And push on, absolutely push on with, with your habit. Let me know in the chat how it's going. I want to hear progress reports. I want to hear, like, if you've fallen off the wagon, if you've missed a day, absolutely fine you know talk about it share it last night i've been i've been i've been working on 10 30 to bed each night last night i was in bed by 10 30 and i didn't actually probably turn the light off until about 10 to 11 so not fully achieved not fully achieved when i missed a day in my 365 day fitness challenge i was going to go back to day zero and my cousin James, he said to me, you know, we basically had a chat about it. And he said, you know, you could 75 hard the, the fitness challenge. If you miss a day, you have to go back to the beginning. So we could do that. But it really was about like, what could I learn by missing that day? And what would it feel like to pick it up the next day and say, OK, well, I might end up doing 364 out of 365 days. But that's an accomplishment in itself. What will that do for me? So I turned it into a positive and used the experience. I learned from it and I've taken it forward. That's what this is all about. It's about you being the best version of yourself. And you can't pick that off the shelf. You can't really learn it from a book, right? You can learn, you can, you can, you can get a direction and motivation and a steering from a book from somebody else. But the experience comes from you actually doing it, being on the court, in the game, and a habit. Habit building is one of the most beautiful ways to empower yourself, to learn something new, to get creative, focused and energised. And it's, it's, it's actually so simple. And it's the exact opposite of what a bucket load of bad habits will do for you. So I hope that's been an encouragement. It is Monday night. That means we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we'll do like a celebration on Saturday. Uh, which is going to require you to be here, of course. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, <laughs> woohoo, <laughs> celebrating on my own. But if you're watching this on the replay, or if you're watching this um, in the bundle afterwards, then really take this on. Make sure you've got all the stuff I've been talking about, the substitutes, the commitment, the support, and, uh, and I look forward to hearing uh, your experiences and your stories either... Um, Email me or put it in the chat and we'll talk later. Okay, Team Super Dad out.